Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And over the past, I want to say about 12 months, Bungie has been dealing with an ongoing law dispute with cheat providers that are providing cheats for many games, but the ones, of course, they're targeting over here is for Destiny 2. Now, me personally, I'm not really much of a fan of people that use these types of cheats in video games. When it comes to Grand Theft Auto, fine, you know, we've all spawned a tank in and lowered our wanted rating. But that was built into the game. These types of cheats are manipulating the game's mechanics in order to give players advantages over other players. Now, in my opinion, this becomes a really big problem when playing multiplayer games or battle royale games or when playing at a high level. We've seen time and time again where professional players have been caught cheating. But one thing that really shits me is when streamers, big time streamers, lie or deny or, or just cover up the fact that they're using cheats while lying to their audience. To me, that is scum of the earth type bullshit that you should never ever fucking do. If you're very open with the fact that you cheat in a video game, fuck you, you're a cheater. But if your community's cool with that, then who am I to judge? So anyway, it seems like Destiny 2 Bungie might have struck in a blow against one of these cheat providers. Destiny 2 cheat provider will pay Bungie 13.5 million after reaching settlement. That's a lot. That is a lot. So according to Torrent Frank, Elite Boss Tech and that number Canada Inc. along with owner Robert James Doofy Nelson um, and many unnamed associates were named in Bungie's copyright infringement lawsuit alleging thousands of violations through the software made for cheating. This week, Elite Boss Tech admitted to over 6,000 violations of the DMCA anti circumvention provisions each carrying its own penalty. In total, the stipulated constant judgment includes uh, statutory damages of $13.5 million that accounts for the 6,765 times Elite Boss Techs were reportedly downloaded. Now, I think it's possible that it was downloaded more. This is just what they caught. So defendants in the claim took responsibility for the cheats, admitting it had violated Bungie's Destiny 2 copyrighted code and prevented the studio from controlling access to its own software. You can't really argue against that once you've been caught doing it. Though Blizzard's original complaint also included counts of fraud, racketeering, and more, the studio will also drop uh, claims part of the settlement. Now, I think they meant to say Bungie there. That might have been an accident. Bungie is also seeking a permanent injunction that would prevent those named in the suit uh, from making or offering any more software that violate any of the studio's properties. That's big. That is big. This comes off the heels of other major industry publishers like Activision and Riot Games taking action against cheat providers. Along complaints of intellectual property infringement, companies are alleging these cheats are costing the game makers millions of dollars in damages. Now that is very much tr probably true, actually, now that I think about it, because there's certain cheats out there for games like Warzone, where you get access to every bundle available in the shop without paying for it. Now Warzone being a free-to-play game, all their money comes from microtransactions, weapon bundles, and all that type of stuff, and being able to get those for free by going around the system, by cheating, is absolutely costing them millions of dollars. Those types of stuff, you know, they can have an effect on gameplay when you get access to a brand new weapon uh, with brand new attachments before anyone else has even got them. Same type of deal in, Bun in um, Destiny, sorry, just not quite the, the same, but same general practice over there. So all in all, uh, I'm actually kind of happy to see cheat providers get dealt a, a huge blow. Even though I'm not really much of a fan of the way AAA studios handle a lot of their business, I don't like these guys either. So to see them paying up $13.5 million, hopefully Bungie can take this money, put it back into the game, and make the game a better experience, as opposed to putting it in their own pockets. But we'll see how this all goes. What do you guys make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play, and check out geeksandgamers.com, and I'll see you all in the next video.